Parallel play, perfecting parallelism in correlative conjunctions. Hello everyone. In today's video, we'll explore the fascinating world of parallelism in English grammar. We're going to zoom in on a key aspect of this topic. Maintaining parallelism in correlative conjunctions. Understanding and mastering this concept will make your writing clearer, more balanced, and more impactful. Let's get started. Correlative conjunctions are pairs of words that work together to coordinate the words or phrases in a sentence. These include pairs like, not only but also, eitherer, neitherner, bothened, and weatherer. They help to establish a balanced, harmonious relationship between the elements they connect. An example of correct usage would be, she is not only an actor but also a director. Now, what exactly do we mean by parallelism? Parallelism is a grammar rule that states similar ideas should be expressed in similar or parallel grammatical structures. It ensures your writing is balanced and easy to understand. For example, if you're listing verbs, they should all be in the same tense. If you're listing nouns, they should all be nouns. Simple as that. When using correlative conjunctions, it's important to maintain parallelism. That is, the words, phrases, or clauses that follow each conjunction should have the same grammatical structure. Let's take an example. Incorrect. I like both playing soccer and to swim. The above sentence is not parallel because playing soccer is a gerund phrase, while to swim is an infinitive. To make this sentence parallel, you would say, correct, I like both playing soccer and swimming. Here, both elements that follow, bothened, are gerund phrases. Now that we know what parallelism is and why it's important, let's look at how we can correct errors in parallelism with correlative conjunctions. Consider the sentence, incorrect. She can either dance or will sing at the party. The sentence above is not parallel because dance is a base verb, while will sing is in the future tense. To correct it, you could say, correct, she will either dance or sing at the party. In this sentence, both elements that follow either are base verbs, maintaining parallel structure. There you have it. You now know how to maintain parallelism when using correlative conjunctions and how to correct errors in parallelism. Remember, the goal here is to make your writing as clear, balanced, and easy to understand as possible. With some practice, this will become second nature to you. I hope you found this video helpful. Keep practicing, and you'll master the art of parallelism in no time. Happy learning!